G'day guys, X-Ray Racer 1 here and this is part B of my review of the Athern EMD F45 N scale diesel locomotive. And in part B here I will be giving you my final thoughts and a bit of a recap and so forth. So uh, in part A, like I said, I would uh, run the locomotive for a week. Now when you watch this video it will probably be upla uploaded shortly after part A but trust me when I say it has been a week in between uh, you know, part A and part B. So I've had the loco for a week, I've been giving it a good run, putting it through its paces and um, despite a few little hiccups uh, from the beginning, it's uh, turned out to be quite a good locomotive, um, especially for the value of the locomotive. Um, you know, as I said, I paid 177 uh, Australian dollars for it, and uh, this locomotive is uh, DCC equipped with sound, and um, I found you know that to be pretty good you know uh, there's not a lot of mo locomotives you can buy uh, that are DCC equipped with sound and uh, for around that price um, not sure what it is possibly in in the bottom of the screen here I'll, I'll give you a rough currency conversion of what 177 Australian dollars is in Australian currency uh, in uh, in US currency, sorry, um, but you know, for the price, it's pretty good. Um, now, a couple of little things I want to point out about this locomotive. As I said, I had a few little uh, hiccups to begin with um, when I f first got this locomotive out of the box. I went to test it in DC power and uh, it was a no-go and I thought great you know the locomotive's dead um, and so I thought maybe it's just not working on uh, DC power so I put it uh, on the track flicked the switches so over here because my layout's both DC and DCC power so I you know, flicked the switch to DCC power, still no power, still no power up or anything so I put it on my program track and it couldn't read the CV of the, for the um, Dakota manufacturing C CV. So I thought great. So um, to cut a long story short what had happened is the Dakota, it's a drop-in sound decoder and the on the Dakota you have little uh, pickup tabs, there are four pickup tabs and basically what had happened is the Dakota wasn't making proper contact with the uh, actual chassis of the locomotive so what would happen? So what I di ended up having to do is I had to get my soldering iron out and put some solder on the rear tabs or solder, if you're American, and uh, just put like a, a thin layer of it on on the tab because it's cop like a copper. So I did that and made it more snug, fit more snugly and uh, yeah it all worked so that was that little issue now one thing I have noticed now I don't know if it is this locomotive in particular that I have bought but I found the when you first get it especially if it's uh, the very first run of the day I have noticed that it will be a little hesitant and jerky from speed step one. When you increase it for about speed step three it will run smoothly and it's almost as though it likes to be warmed up. 
it's kind of weird actually um, but and then once once you've done about four laps of the layout here uh, you know speed step one it moves along just nicely so I don't know if it's too much grease on the gears or it's just uh, an issue, an issue, maybe an electrical issue with the motor but I mean like I said as you can see now it's running nice and smooth but when you do the initial first run of the day speed step one is a little sketchy now I don't know like I said if it's too much grease or it just likes to be warmed up or it just needs to be run a bit more to be broken in and I did do a break in procedure for it I ran it 10 minutes in each direction at varying speeds like between speed step like 1 and 30 and I would vary the speed in each direction but uh, maybe it just needs to be broken in a little bit more so apart from that, I mean it's a great locomotive. locomotive. You know, you've got um, nice detail as you can see here. The sound is pretty nice. Um, like I, and, um, but the detail, like everything from the handrails, even as you can see as it goes in there on the fuel tank, you can see the little red fuel cap. Just little things like that, it's pretty cool. Um, and like I said, value for money it is pretty good and also um, this <laughs> this locomotive has actually got some pulling power and like I said in part A it is actually quite a heavy locomotive um, it's got some weight to it and what I will do now is I will show you a video clip I recorded earlier on it's a little overkill I've pretty I've got almost all of my rolling stock uh, on the uh, hooked up to it but this is a quick video this is a quick clip of what it's capable of pulling Okay, so as you saw, it was overkill. You know, I had roll, you know, freight rolling stock. I had passenger cars and so forth. But it was just to give you an idea of the pulling power of this locomotive. It, it's, yeah, it's got some grunt to it. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've been enjoying running this locomotive. It's definitely... Um, Ever st apart from that one hiccup from when I first got it, it's definitely come good. But um, apart from that, apart from that s that small issue, yeah, it's great. I love it. It's a uh, good value for money, um, especially if you only run DC power. It will run on DC power with sound. Uh, you are limited to. Uh, it's speed because uh, with a sound system it requires a fair amount of voltage to um, run on DC power so you may I'm not an electronic genius but you may need to run some kind of booster to get a little more uh, actual speed out of it if you're running it on DC power but it will run nicely on 
uh, like I said, it will, will run nicely on DC power. And, um, yeah, it's great. So my final thoughts about this locomotive. Is it, value, is it good value for money? Personally, I do think it is. Um, I'm, I may be the only person who has had that issue with the decoder. Um, if you do have one of these locomotives, drop a comment down below if you have had any a similar issue. Because, um, I mean, if I'm the only one that's had this issue, well, then, you know, that's really, that's awesome. It's just, just my luck, unfortunately. But, you know, so, yeah, I reckon it's good value for money. I love the detail of it. It is, uh, it's definitely got good pulling power. And um, the sound quality is really good. I, I mean, uh, on camera here, the sounds probably, it probably can't, doesn't do it justice uh, on camera here. But it's, um, yeah, the sound quality is pretty damn good. And um, the other good thing about this locomotive is that it will run on uh, this, as you can see, it's going into this tunnel. Um, that curve that's going around there is a nine and three quarter inch radius. And so it will run on a nine and three quarter inch radius. In fact, um, as you see this locomotive running here, this uh, bend here is slightly great, uh, sharper than nine and three quarter inches and this locomotive will actually run around it without derailing which is pretty damn good so um, but they do recommend the recommend the minimum radius of nine and three quarter inches so would I recommend this locomotive I will say yes I will recommend it um, like I said, I did have that issue with the decoder, but I have since remedied, fixed the problem. Um, and as you can see, it's going along fantastic. Um, but it did, it did kind of uh, uh, make me hesitate a little bit. But after a week of running it, it's definitely um made up for that issue that i had so would i recommend it yes i would recommend this locomotive if you run if you don't have a dcc system you can run it on dc power and it will run on a nine and three quarter inch radius turn so my final score for this locomotive now it score the score for this locomotive, um, I'm going to have to give it an 8 out of 10. That's my final score for this locomotive, an 8 out of 10. Um, but like I said, I find it quite good value for money. If you want to buy a sound locomotive and you don't want to spend hundreds upon hundreds of dollars, uh, like some of my other locomotives I got are quite expensive um, if you don't ha if you're on a slight uh, bit of a budget it is good value for money it is DCC equipped with sound that will run on DC power without an issue so yes guys I would recommend this locomotive it is a t 8 out of 10 and that is my final thoughts of the locomotive so if you have any questions guys don't hesitate to comment down below um, if you've got one of these locomotives share your thoughts and experiences with it i do also welcome uh, criticism uh, constructive criticism i should point out and um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this review of the locomotive and stay tuned for the next locomotive review.